Hello, I'm Eamon Dugan, the Associate Conductor of the 16. We're going to look at a couple of breathing exercises. Breathing, which should be the easiest thing in the world, since we do it all day and all night, and yet when we sing, often we find it quite difficult. When we sing, we want our breath to be free and flowing, and we can help that by making sure that our muscles around here are flexible. And a simple exercise to help with this is just five small breaths in and out, a bit like a dog panting, like this. It's a good way to start your warm-ups if you're going to be doing some singing. So just that, we're going to do it with our four participants here. Let's do it. Good, so plenty of out there. Now let's see if we can get a bit more in as well as the out. Very good, and let's see if we can make it a rhythmic exercise as well, so that it's a little bit more rhythmically centered. Very good. Singers often tend to obsess a little bit about breath and breathing, and this can lead to people using too much air when they sing. Really, we only need to breathe for the task in hand. So if you have a phrase to sing which is only four or five notes or four or five short beats, you don't need to take a whacking great breath and fill up. You only need to breathe to get you through the phrase in question. We're going to sing an excerpt from As Torrance and Summer by Edward Elgar, which will demonstrate this with shorter phrases at the beginning and then a longer phrase at the end of the passage and you'll see the singers breathing appropriate to how many notes they've got to sing. see simple natural breaths for the shorter phrases at the beginning and then a little bit more to get us through the longer phrase at the end. While we're talking about breath and the flow of the breath let's just think about ends of phrases. Something that I find quite often in our workshop sessions is that the groups singing on the final notes of phrases let things collapse. They reach the final note of the phrase and maybe feel like their job is done and relax on the last note. But this can create problems. Here's an example from Bird's four-part mass if we let the final note of the phrase sag. So you can feel the lack of energy, and that's something that we hear quite often. Whereas, if we keep the last note energised and sing right through it into the point at which we breathe, there's that natural reflex of the breath and that provides a springboard into the next phrase. <laughs> 